Let's go ahead and move on now. Uh, Peter King makes his Super Bowl prediction. We've seen it before. He puts out a Super Bowl prediction every single year. But this year, he's got your L.A. Rams defeating the Buffalo Bills at the Super Bowl at SoFi Stadium this February. But uh, you know, the last time Peter King selected the Rams to go to the Super Bowl, he was actually correct. And he actually had the opponent correct as well. He selected in 2018 Rams Patriots for the Super Bowl. And that is exactly what happened. Of course, the Rams offense couldn't get it going that day like we had all season. But, you know, I've actually, there's only a couple of games of Rams games that I've only seen one time. That is one of them. That's one of them. I, I, I can't bring, I haven't even watched highlights of that game. I just can't bring myself to do it. But, you know, so the Super Bowl pick uh, is in. He's Peter King is selecting Bear, uh, the excuse me, uh, the Rams to defeat the Bills, which, I mean, would be an awesome Super Bowl to watch. I like the Bills. Uh, their fan base is awesome. I want to go party with them so bad. I'll break some tables. I mean, like a like a small table. I don't weigh that much, so it can't be like too sturdy. <laughs> but uh, we'll see, man. This uh, that would be such a fun game to watch, especially especially at SoFi if the Rams could play a, a home Super Bowl. That'd be super cool. But I'll be honest with you guys. Next year really feels like more of a this is the Rams year to me. I like the Rams this year, and I like our ability to compete this year. But I think next year, the Rams are just in so much better of a space to be able to push for a Super Bowl. Let me explain. In 2022, the NFC gets a bonus home game. So already the Rams get nine home games, eight road games. One of the Rams road games next year is at the Chargers. So really, the Rams get 10 home games, seven road games. We also, I mean, that's, that's, that is such a sweet deal. We get to play 10 regular season games at SoFi next year. And because of the way it works out, uh, we hosted the, the Chargers in preseason this year. And I would guess that will, that the Chargers will host the Rams in preseason next year is uh, like that. They'll host both games, preseason and regular season. So we could really see 12 games at SoFi Stadium just in preseason and regular season between the for the Rams. Uh, essentially, the Rams play the 10 home games, just just the seven road. That is unreal, really. Like the way that that works out. I mean, because we could have gotten at the Chargers in a season where the AFC gets an extra home game. We could have gotten that. But we didn't. We get it. We get 10, 10, 10 games at SoFi. It'll be Stafford's second year in the system. Typically, quarterbacks make a, a bigger pop in their second year than year one. Cam Akers is scheduled to be back, but we could see a move there at the running back position, depending on what happens. You know, uh, of course, he's only going to be going into his third season, but it will be his first training camp. So that will have uh, some kind of impact. But Cam Akers coming back, Stafford's second year. We get the NFC South, which is really just one great team, and then three teams who are either tearing down right now or in a rebuild, a blatant rebuild. The Saints are tearing down right now. They're they're not quite torn down yet. They're I think they're kind of trying to see this year what they still have. I don't anticipate them being nearly as good as they have been in the past years. Atlanta, they're a pretty average team. The, regularly, they're an average team. Carolina Panthers, I'm interested to see what Darnold can do there. He's got a, a one of his favorite weapons in Robbie Anderson, but overall, that team's not very good. So I, I like that, the, that we get the NFC South. We'll also get the NFC East, same place finisher at home. That'll be probably Washington or Dallas, if I had to guess. And then the NFC North on the road, same place finisher. I'm guessing that'll be Packers or Vikings, most likely Packers. I don't see another team winning that division, but Vikings are the only ones that feel like they could compete for that, but I don't see that happening. And the reason that I say Packers or Vikings there, because I do think the Packers will win, but will the Rams, you know what I mean? This is a very good division that the Rams are in in the NFC West. So I've got to take care of our own business first. And then AFC East, same place finisher at home. I'm guessing that'll either be the Bills or the Dolphins. I'm not sure what the Patriots are going to be able to pull off this year, starting Mac Jones. That's going to be an interesting one, but we don't got to worry about that till next year. Once the schedule gets finalized after week seven or after week 18, excuse me, then uh, we'll we'll know a lot more about what's going to happen here. But that extra home game is absolutely massive. And that's why, that is really why, That to sum it up, Rams will play 10 games at SoFi next season and we'll get to play 
a division in the NFC South that is not that amazing. Of course, we got also got the AFC West, pretty strong division. Uh, the Raiders seem to be the, well, I'd say the Broncos seem to be the weakest in that one right now. But that's a tough division too, though. I mean, they're, they're, they're a lot like the NFC West where they got some really good teams, just a couple that have some question marks. Like uh, in the NFC West, I mean, you got the, the question marks with the Seahawks with their new defense and the offensive line. With the Rams, uh, what is Stafford going to look like? What are some of those departures on defense going to look like? Not necessarily just the players, but like Aubrey Pleasant, Joe Barry, Brandon Staley. And then Arizona, their coaching staff, what is that going to look like? And then San Francisco, can they stay healthy? But the AFC West is very similar to that. Broncos need to figure out their quarterback situation. The Chiefs are going to start to run into to issues like the Rams where they're having troubles paying everybody. Uh, the Chargers... I mean, are they going to keep charging? Are they just like, is that what they do? Is they just like put, like they have an amazing roster every year, but they still just can't put it together. And then the Raiders, man, the Gruden is, they, they screwed up by giving Gruden that 10 year deal. I don't care what anybody says as a mistake. So uh, it's going to be tough either way, no matter what. I mean, all NFL teams are good. The, the, the difference between the best NFL team and the worst NFL team, pretty slim, honestly. So it'll be tough either way, but I like the Rams chances next year over this year. Still excited for this year. Rams fans that made it all the way to the very end of the video, my favorite kind of person, all the way here. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate you. Now, what I need from you guys is if you guys have not already, subscribe. And that's right going to be on this side, right here. It's very easy to find. On this side here, if you liked this clip, I guarantee you're going to like the entire episode. So check that out right here. Peace. Go Rams.